Welcome everyone to my second video vlog whose sole purpose is to glorify God through the vehicle of songs, of hymns, and worship and praise through the centuries. As a little girl of seven, my musical journey began with our church organist, Harriet Lautenbach. As mother listened to the new songs coming from our piano, she began to pray, Dear Lord, use this gift that you've given my daughter for your glory. Sitting at the piano one day, I felt an unusual weight come over my fingers. Jumping up, I ran to find mother. Unbeknownst to me, she touched the throne room of heaven at that exact moment on her knees beside her bed. Immediately, I sensed that whatever ability I might have wasn't something of my own making. It was God's gift to me, a holy trust that I would dedicate to his service for as long as I lived. Next week, as I celebrate three quarters of a century of life, I want to thank my creator for fulfilling the passionate desires of my heart through music. His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lamentation 3, 22 and 23. Thomas Chisholm wrote that wonderful hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, in 1925. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, he has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. We're privileged right now to be near Port Angeles, Washington, at the George Washington Inn, Dan and Janet Abbott's home. And they have a beautiful eminent organ behind me of a Dutch origin. And I'm privileged to be able to play this. And I have a guest with me again today. It's another couple that we've known for decades, Jim and Marie Geiger. And Jim would like to share with me in Great is Thy Faithfulness as he sings and I play. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy. Oh, oh. 
As I finish this little vlog off, I would like for you to be reminded of these wonderful words of Keith Green about faithfulness on our part. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light the way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe and the lives we lead inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. Bye-bye for now.